These community members and relatives of these victims say enough is enough and that the gun violence has to end. And they hope that some city leaders will now get involved. A Richmond community coming together through a circle of love. Time for us just to come together and make a difference. As local activists plead for an end to the gun violence following Tuesday's shooting here at the Belt Atlantic Apartments that killed 30-year-old Charnez Hill and her three-month-old daughter, a second adult and two minors were also shot, all just innocent bystanders enjoying the weather outside. It's too sad for us to be sitting out in our own neighborhoods and we are not safe. People are supposed to be dying because of natural causes. We're supposed to be burying our parents. We're not supposed to be out here burying our children, our friends. That's not okay. Friends of the All victim also sharing words Saturday. For them to do that to them, it's horrible to me. As they try to process through the pain. I love you. I see you that morning. And I love you unconditionally. I'm sorry that this had to happen to you. As this community tries to heal through unity, family and friends just hope now some real change can be done with the help of city leaders. We all represent the community and we are what the community is, you know, and so I would like us to just work together, do things together, and um, provide some programming for our children so they can have some alternatives to um, this, you know, violence, alternatives to violence. Now, relatives of those victims tell me that those other three victims involved in the shooting are out of the hospital and they're doing OK at this time. Meanwhile, police have arrested three men who they believe are connected to that shooting. Right now, they're all being charged with conspiracy to commit murder. They're due back in court over the next several months.